as you can see, our UI here has got a light version. It doesn't have a corresponding dark version. Our application, we are going to switch themes from light to dark. So this means that we need to create our own uh, dark version. Obviously, we are not going to take this UI, all of it, and create a corresponding dark version, okay? We are going to apply a certain principle, a certain technique that I have crafted over time. And the name of that technique, it's inverted theme. And let's just jump straight into it. So as you know, um, all most professional applications, they have got a light version of the application and they have got a dark version of the application. Okay. Okay. So as a developer, trying to create a light and dark theme, more especially with Tailwind CSS, there are two ways to go about it. Okay. The first one, it's what most people do. Okay. So let's say we are creating an input. Okay. This is an input component. Okay. It has got a color in here and also it has got a color on the border. So defining our colors when it comes to light and uh, dark theme, we need to define the border for light and we need to define a border for dark. And then if we are going to color this part as well, the, the inside part, we need to define that for light and we need to define that for dark. That is not much of a problem because it's something that we have to do, okay? Let's say also we've got the overall background, okay? We need to define that um, for um, light and we need to define that for dark. Obviously, there's no problem there. So now let's say we've got almost like 15,000 um, lines of code, okay? So as you know that um, the application doesn't have only one page, okay? We've got a lot of pages in an application and those pages, okay, you need to set the light and dark mode. So this means that if you've got 15 pages, let's say, the background of all those pages, you need to always type the light background and the dark background the light background, the dark background, the light background, and the dark background. What if maybe you've got some input components there, let's say. In those input components, all of them, you need to define the light background and the dark background. Maybe you might be uh, smart about it and only create one component that you are going to reuse. Yes, I understand that that will be a solution, but you still need to type that. So, as I was creating application, I just realized that this is time consuming, given the fact that this is not a functional requirement. What do I mean by that? Your application can still work fine and people can love it without the light and dark theme. So as as much as it is important, but it is not a functional requirement. It is not one of those requirements that if it's not there, the app won't be usable. So what does that mean? I decided not to take much time on this. Okay, it needs not to consume my development time. So I decided to come up with this principle, which is an inverted theme. Excuse my writing. So with this um, principle of mine, which is an um, inverted theme, you define your colors once with their corresponding inverses, okay? Let's say we've got a, um, a, 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 a background color, which I usually call it wall light, okay? Wall just means the background, the wall of your own application, okay? So the wall light will be white, let's say. Okay, this is the color. So when you are defining wall light, you also need to define wall dark. And wall dark will be black. Okay, so I will then create um, a tailwind class, okay, that will make use of these variables to automatically switch the colors for you. Okay, so this means that we declare colors once and that is it. And we will never have to deal with switching from light to dark. So meaning that when I'm developing, 
I don't have to always switch from light to dark when I'm creating my component. So meaning that when I'm creating my component, I will just create my component. Step number two, when I'm creating my component, I'm only thinking about light mode. I don't have to think about dark mode. So it's like I am creating my application only for light mode. Somebody might ask, what about for dark mode? Remember, according to this inverted theme, I have got some tailwind classes that will do that automatically for me. So those tailwind classes will help me to always switch this wall light to wall dark in the dark mode. Okay, let's just make a practical example. So let's say we're creating um, the background for our application. Let's say this is obviously our wall. Okay, so when I'm developing this component or creating this page, I will only um, set the background color to, let's say, wall light. Okay, wall light. Obviously, I'm going to use a tailwind uh, uh, class here. Okay, let's say this is set to wall light. That's the only thing that I will do. I don't have to take care of black. What if somebody switches from from light to dark mode. Okay, the tailwind class that I will have created here will automatically do that for me, okay? So now let me push this further, okay? So let's talk about the text, okay? We are going to have the text light, which is going to be white, and we're going to have the text dark, which is going to be, let's say, black, okay? Now, this is the wall. Now, let's get into the text, okay? So, this text on top of this uh, wall color, this text, the color of this text will be text light, okay? Let's say equal to text light, okay? So, if somebody is on light mode, okay? If somebody is on light mode, we will use text light here, okay? My apologies about that. This is just um, a small mistake, okay? So, when it comes to text light, guys, okay, this means that the background will be white. It will be light. So, we just have to change these here, okay? The text light is supposed to be black by nature, okay? Because the background will be white. And the text dark is supposed to be white. My apologies about that. So, if somebody is on light mode, okay, the white light will be white this color, okay? Meaning that automatically the text light is supposed to be black, as you can see. What if somebody switches uh, to dark mode? This means that the white dark, okay, which is, sorry, the wall dark, okay, will be black, okay? Automatically, this technique, inverted theme, will switch the text light to text dark okay so as you can see it looks like here we've got some sort of a function okay a function for light and dark theme okay this function is going to be a tailwind css class that will always do that for us so instead of when we are developing in our jsx we we need to always specify a light dark um if you have done that before you will know that it's time consuming. Even to type it, it's time consuming. In Tailwind CSS, you have to always specify dark, okay, dot, dot, BG, and then you put your colors. And then on light, obviously, you just uh, uh, type it. So the inverted uh, theme principle just helps you to solve the idea of light and dark theme once and for all. So in the next video, we are going to extract all our uh, inverted themes, okay? I've got a list of colors that you need to declare before you continue. So after you've declared those colors, that means you are free to go. The other advantage of this approach is that what if then you want to change the colors in uh, entirely in your own application? This means that you are not going to go through line by line, thousands of lines, thousands of lines, trying to change your colors. You are going to go into this list of inverted theme colors. And then from then you can just modify them. And then after that, these colors will change into your entire application. And that is it for this one. See you on the next one.